All right, guys, our next pattern name is called Fwirl. F-W-I-R-L. And uh, it's a flower swirl, I guess, is the combination. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is do a spiral. That's for the center of the flower. Around that, we're going to put some little circles. In between those little circles, we're going to put petals of varying sizes. And then inside those petals, we're going to put another loop, like an aura kind of a loop. And that's it. And then we can color or whatever we want to do. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, let's just get that going and see where it takes us. I want to turn on my light. I've picked a really light lavender colored cardstock. I was going to do the watercolor paper, but I think I'm going to do that on the next one. And then, um, but I do feel like coloring with, or drawing with colored pens. So I've picked some of my, I have some microns in various sizes. Some of them are 01, some of them are 05, some of them are PN, which is the plastic nib. Um, but I thought these colors were kind of fun. I don't know how they're going to show up on this purple paper. So I'm actually going to kind of swatch them first on the back side. So this one is a PN in a dark purple. That looks good. This one is an 05 size in a yellow. I'm not sure if that's going to show up. Oh, it does. Awesome. Okay. That's good to know. This one is an 01 in a dark bright blue. This one is an 01 in pink. I don't even know if any of these are dried up or what. I haven't used them in a long time. And an 05 in green. Oh, I like all those colors and they appear to be showing up fairly well. So that's awesome. Okay, I'm going to use all of those today. Just because. Switch it up. Um, I had decided that I was going to uh, use the first letter of each of these pattern names as my guide. So let me make myself a little border box. And I want the letter F for my guide. And I think I'm going to make the letter F go this way. Like that. See my letter F? There it is. And so that's going to guide my placement of flowers. I think I'm going to then want one here at the intersection of each of these, like that. And then here. And then one here, and one here, and I may make some sort of greenery or something sticking out of there. Something like that. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But that is my plan. Um... I do my flowers in those colors and then make the green for some greenery. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Do I have another color that I can use that's different from any of these? That's another pink. That's another purple. I think that will look exactly the same. That's a different kind of blue. Let me see what that looks like on this side. Oh yeah, that looks different. I can tell it apart from that blue. Okay. That'll work, I guess. I don't have an orange. I really like an orange. Do I have an orange Sharpie? Hang on a second. I don't like that dark blue. Let me see if I can find an orange. Oh, there's a red. There's a red. Red will work. Okay, so I'm going to make 
five flowers in five different colors and then use the green for like some leaves or something. So I'm going to start with, we'll just start with red. What the heck. So we're going to do a spiral. Don't know how big to do it. So it's going to go like that. And some circles around the middle. Like so. You're kind of far away. Let me zoom you in a bit. And then I'm going to do petals of various sizes. So, and inside here gets an extra bit. And I think that part probably is going to need to be colored, but I may color with a different color. So I'm going to leave it just now. And move on to a different color flower. Let's do one here. Do I want to stick outside the border? No, this one I want to stay in the border, I think. I want my border... Maybe I'll make my border this <clears throat> kind of dark bluish color. I think I want my border solid on this side. And on this side. And then if anything sticks out of the border, it can stick out. I don't know if you guys can even see that. You can't because now you're too zoomed in. Okay. I made a solid border here and here. And then if anything sticks out beyond the border, it's going to be on this side and this side. That's what I'm decided. So, back, back with my pink pen. Maybe I'll start with the spiral on the outside and work my way in. That way I know how big the center is going to be. And I want it bigger than that flower, I think. So, I'm going to do it like that. Do an inward spiral instead of an outward spiral. big petals like that that's fun and then we need this loop in the middle These are very retro mod flowers, like the flowers I used to draw on my notebooks when I was in school. Yes, I was that girl that drew flowers all over her notebook in school. Absolutely. I think I want, I think I want the light colored one in there. I'm going to have more petals. I'm going to make these circles smaller so they can be closer together so I can have more petals. And this one's going to have shorts, short ones and long ones. Like 
go. And some loops. is kind of dry. Like I said, I haven't used these in some time. I didn't know how uh, juicy they were. Definitely got some missing ink. I'm gonna have to throw this one away. It's working, but just barely. Okay. <clears throat> and now my yellow one. This is fun. These are easy to do. You guys can all do this. Super simple. Great little doodle flower. Decided these are going to be really fat petals on this yellow one. Great big fat petals. <clears throat> Excuse me for my allergies. Okay. So now I'm going to erase, I think, all my... Um, All my pencil marks. And then I'm going to decide. I'm going to come in here and gently color here. Wonder. I think I'm going to put stripes. I was going to color solid in, but I think I'm going to color solid in these dots. And then I think in here I'm going to put little stripes. that visually it looks like it's colored in but it's not and it actually gives it a mid-tone okay and I think this pen has had it so it's going I'm going to do that for all of these guys now. I'm going to color in. I'm not going to color in like super strong. I'm going to make these kind of loose here so they kind of look like spiralies. It'll go with the middle of the flower. 
kind of like that. And then the stripes. And the reason I haven't finished my border is because I'm not sure what I'm doing with green yet. I'm going to do some sort of leaf-like shape. Either a mucha kind of a shape or a flux kind of a shape to fill in those spaces. Or a um, fescue shape. Okay. Put my pen away. This is the purple one. And then this one is the pink. So how are you guys holding up? I must admit I've been having some hard mental health days lately. Drawing helps. Coming out here and being with you guys helps for some reason. I don't know why I'm actually standing here by myself talking out loud to nobody but somehow the idea that you guys are out there listening to this helps but I have been having some tough mental health days we had some scary days at work two days in a row we had to call the police um, on uh, shoplifters and one guy was he was just he was on something he tried to get behind the cash register and that was a that was a bad day and then he decided he was gonna we managed to get him out of our store and then he decided that he was going to go to the small store uh, next door and try to rob the girl there and he beat her up so I was thankful that I wasn't the recipient of him beating me up, but I think I had the good fortune of having a lot of customers in in the store at the time, up at the cash register area. So I think that intimidated him a little bit, whereas when he went next door, that girl was in the shop by herself. And... Um, yeah, that was bad. And then the ne very next day we had another thief who was my manager confronted and he did a lot of fighting and tousling and, 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 and scrapping with her. So So yeah, it, it's been a tough, tough times. We're in tough times. People are desperate, you know. I, I, I feel really badly for these guys that they are in a place. They've made some life choices that have put them in a spot where um, they're desperate for money and for drugs or whatever um, that leads them to to steal or to um, assault. So, 
you know, I do have compassion on them, but at the same time, it's not right. They can't, they can't do what they were doing. That's not right. That's not cool. Um, so I'm thankful for, for the police. I know that I, both of them had, were caught nearby. Um, and I know that both of them were probably just caught, arrested, and let go. Just because that's our culture and climate right now. Um, and I don't think that's right. I think those who choose to do wrong need to be punished. Now we can, we can have a, a discussion of what that punishment should look like. Because sometimes I think we don't do a very good job of helping people to uh, recover from addictions. Which is the main reason why they're doing what they're doing in the first place. We don't do a very good job of, of job training and getting skills and, and getting people clean and sober so that they don't have to do what they were doing. Now, I do think some people are just sociopaths and just that there is no making them better. Um, but for the most part, I think most quote unquote common criminals are, are doing it just because, um, They've run out of options. And they've become addicted to substances. And I think that's the biggest biggest thing in our culture is to try to help people who are addicted to get off so that they can become uh, better people, you know? They can have happier lives. If they were happier and not unhappy that they they might make different choices. And I'm sorry and I'm sad that that they've had a life in which um, which has been difficult. You know, I really feel badly. I'm going to make a now I'm gonna finish my border. that. That looks cool. I like that. And I think I want to make that recede. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pencil and kind of make that go toward the background. This was called, what was this called? Foral. called Whirl. And I'm going to use a fairly soft pencil. Maybe my number four. I come in here and I'm going to go around the flowers very carefully. I don't know if I'm going to like this. And then I'm going to smudge. Is that doing what I want it to do? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay, so while I'm doing this, because I'm basically done, I'm just futzing at this point. You guys can leave if you want. Um, I'm going to read one of these question things. Uh, I don't remember where we were at. Uh, we did the gravestone one, right? Yeah. If you had to choose the single most valuable thing you ever learned 
what would it be? The single most valuable thing I ever learned is to be nice to people. You know, kindness doesn't cost anything. Kindness is, is free. It's not hard. Well, sometimes it is hard. Sometimes it's very difficult to be kind because of your own um, hurts, your own biases, your own um, fears about somebody else. Sometimes it can be difficult to be kind, but I think that's that's our, our lesson in life that we should be kind to one another. That's the number one. If that there's only one thing I could change about the whole world. It would be that people would be kinder to one another. But I do honestly, truly believe that kindness, kindness begets kindness. So the kinder you are to others, the more others are kind back to you. And that the more you can be kind to others, the more others feel better and become kinder not only to you but to other people as well i think it spreads it's like it's like love love is not um you, it's not quantitative like you don't have a, a, a limited amount of love that you can give your love is unlimited and the only limits is that you choose to not love um, but it's not like you know it's not like your mom and dad had 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 uh, had you as a as a first kid let's uh, let's say mom and dad had you as a first kid and now they have another kid and they can't love the second kid because they already have a first kid no that's not how it works right uh, they have a second kid and they love that kid just as much as they love the first kid. Um, and if they have three or four or six or twelve, that doesn't mean that they don't love any less. Uh, love multiplies. I believe kindness is the same way. It multiplies. And you can't... You can't love less. You can't kind less. I believe once you've loved somebody that you always love them. Now, I must say, there are times where that person hurts you so badly that your love becomes dead and 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 hardened. That happens, you know, people 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 have hard relationships. And, but I know people in my life who um, had terrible relationships with folks. Very difficult, abusive, hard relationships. And, and they were people that they loved, but they decided that they couldn't have them in their life anymore. And that that, that was toxic and that it was terrible. And, um, but when that person passed on, they still grieved because they loved that person. They did. At one point, they loved that person. And I don't think that love ever actually dies. It diminishes. It if it's not fed, it's it, it grows weak. But I don't think it actually ever dies. I think it's always there. So I think once you've loved someone, you love them. You might not always agree with their actions. You might not be able to live with them. 
but I think you always love them in, in some level. Um, there have been people in my life that have not always been the best person that uh, did not step up and, and, and do the right thing. And I thought my heart was hardened to them, but when they passed on, I grieved. I did. Because in my own way, I did love that person, even with all of that person's faults. And, and it just, yeah. I don't think it goes away. It just changes a little bit. It's not the the deep love, the 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 love forever type love like you have for your child. Am I just babbling on about love? I think I am. I'm enjoying my coloring process here though. This is doing a good job of making my flowers stand out and my other things recede, which is really what I wanted to have happen. I don't know if I want to color the flowers themselves. I don't think I do. First I thought maybe I would, but I think just putting, putting the background to the back is helping quite a bit. And anyway, that's my life lesson, is to be kind to one another. Even if you don't love one another, you don't have to love one another. Although that's what Jesus' teaching is, and, and that's what we should strive for. But even if you can just be nice, that would be awesome. See if there's another question so that I can get off of this topic. Shall we? Let's see what the next question is. Next question in my little book is, if you were kidnapped and allowed to telephone one person for one minute only, who would you call? That would be my husband. Easy question. And if he didn't answer the phone, then that would be my son. Second. One, two. In that order. And if both of those couldn't answer, number three would be my mother. Is it sad that my mother's not the first? Yes and no. You know, she raised me to be, get married and, and, and have a life of my own and be independent. And I have done that. Doesn't mean I don't love her and it doesn't mean I don't just talk to her. But if I was kidnapped, I would want my husband to come rescue me. Well, that would be the one I would want to call. All right, next question. That was kind of weird. If you could ex enact one law in your country that does not currently exist, what would it be? Oh, Lord, have mercy. To be honest, I don't know that there isn't a law on the books for every last thing. We have laws for everything. Problem is, is we don't enforce the laws that we already have. I don't think we need a new law. I do not think we need any new laws. I think we need to just enforce the ones we have.
maybe we should just have one law. Be nice to each other or you end up in time out. One law. That's it. Be nice or you end up in time out. That wasn't nice. Stealing. That wasn't nice. Murdering. That wasn't nice. Lying. Cheating. That wasn't nice. Pretty much, pretty much all the laws that we have right now, that wasn't nice. If you, if you boil it down, right? Think about a law, any law. Running a red light, that wasn't nice. Why? Why wasn't that nice? It wasn't nice because uh, somebody coming the other way assumed you were in a stop because the light was red and then you could hit them. So that wasn't nice. I, I, I'm at the point where, you know, just be nice. You didn't pay your bills? That wasn't nice. All sorts of things are not nice. This is the nice channel. And am I perfect? Nope. Is it? Are there days where I just am not nice? Absolutely. And those are the days that I should be put into time out. Those are the days I should be sequestered away from people. Because there are days I just can't people. I don't. People will on those days. And I know. I can feel it when I wake up in the morning that there is a high probability of me not being nice today. And luckily, those days have become fewer and farther between. But they used to happen much more frequently. And I'm working very hard on recognizing when I'm feeling that way and taking steps to change it. Either change the way I'm feeling or staying away from people. Because, you know, the simple, the simple act of just staying away from people is the kindest thing I can do sometimes. When I'm having one of them moods. I really like how this is turning out. Couple more bits and then I will be done. you guys stayed to the end thank you very much I want to thank you guys for um, all your support and all that you guys do um, if you guys feel led I'd appreciate it if you'd click the subscribe button wherever the subscribe button is Whenever this video is over, subscribe will pop up somewhere. Um, I'd appreciate that or it's on my channel. You know how to find the subscribe button. Um, I'm actually making enough money on YouTube now that they are actually paying me once a month instead of once every three or four months, which is spectacular not a whole big bunch of money but it's more money than I had before and I can use it because hubby is not finding a job this is a hard climate to find a job in it was already hard before the COVID and now it's become near impossible Ugh. deciding if I want color no, I'm going to leave it just like that. I think it's fine. I could add a little bit of color, pencil color, but I think, I think it's okay. You know what? I'm really, I'm really, really struggling. I really want color. I think, you know what it is? I think it's because I want the, the leaves to still be kind of more in the background than the flowers. 
So I need to make just the leaves a little... Ooh, that's too dark. Too dark of a choice of green. Let's try this one. I want to match that more. I'm not going to do all of it. I'm just going to do enough of it to kind of recede them back to the background a little bit. Especially these ones that are in the middle. Just want them to be in the back. I don't want them to be. They, they seem to be sticking out forward from the flowers, and I don't want that. Oh, 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 oh! That's not a leaf. That's a petal. Erase that. Good thing I don't color hard. Too many crickets. No. Not necessarily really light, I mean really the best coloring job ever, but I think it needs to be colored all the way in. And I also found a spot that I missed when I did the pencil. That's better. Now my leaves are kind of in the background. My flowers are popped forward. Much better. Oops, I forgot a leaf that's not all the way colored in. This one. All right, you guys have a great day. Go out and do something nice for someone today. Love on them by being nice, being kind. And um, that'll make the world a better place, one person at a time. Thank you for so much for being here. Um, I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.